This is the Racy Channel, WTRC Channel 6, Moncton. This is the Rafi Channel, WTRC Channel 6, Moncton. Would you believe it? We're up to the 10th episode of NBC Bloopers, which is just crazy. Oh wow. How it's been almost three years already since the first episode. Damn, time really does fly. Time does fly when you're having fun and... Come on Sam, it's not worth making the intros 10 hours old. Guy, your goddamn brother said that in PS1 started Bloopers 16 for goodness sake. We already know. Alright, alright. Sheesh. Peace, Asta. Peace, We now return to an all new episode of The House of Fujitsu. I am Fujitsu Chappie. The following program is brought to you in living color on. Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents. This is not Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. This is CTC Enterprises. Bloody hell. Thanks for telling us, Captain Obvious. Sam was only joking around with you, but in the meantime... Alex, where are you? We're down here, Chloe. Mike, what I did up there, your arms are so squished. Wait, I think I can hear the sounds of nature. The way... No, it's just the earthworms nibbling on my ears. Mind if I try to pull you guys out of the ground? I wouldn't mind a bit of help, mate. I agree, I don't want the earthworms and spiders eating my frontal lobe. Alrighty. Later, after Chloe put the three out of the ground. Lazy Enterprises Inc. What the hell? Random. I have just eaten a chicken McMuffin for breakfast. Chicken? As in fried chicken? Nommy 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 nom nom. Oh, don't tell me Seth is gonna turn into an obsession character. Don't worry, Sam, I won't. Yet. Oh, good God. P.S. My face is Moscow. Everybody want a piece of my chicken, southern fried chicken, finger licking. Say, M P C and win, you're a chicken. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Yes, my mind's telling me it's not funny.
It's funny for us, lol. You sure? Yes? That'll be two pound fifty for you both. Alrighty, cheers. Well, it's all fun and games until a certain someone obsessed with bacon steals our delicious snack. Oh, don't worry, bacon's not even around. Let's just eat our bacon mats for now, otherwise it's tough cookies. Alright. This reminds me of when I used to do my own NBC bloopers, but I just stuck to the NBC Peacock Ident. Hmm. Guess I took a page out of your book then. I guess so. Uh, what? Never mind that! I am Fujitsu Guy! The following program is brought to you in NBC on Living Color. What? Did you know that I can smell bacon, 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 bacon? Sorry, bacon. Those bacon nuts were our brunch. Why you know? Well, that was nothing. Ah! I was pulling a bacon Homer Simpson on you guys. Oh, yeah. Giggity. Wiggity. Giggity, giggity, crabbity, giggity. The 20th Century Fox. 20th Century Fox? Have you seen this man? He has very dark hair with glasses and light skin. Not that I know of. Bloody hell, Alex, that dude's literally escaped prison in the TEG 1994 world. F***ing hell. Is there anything we should do? Well then, we're relieved. Just got back ensuring others in the neighborhood to lock their doors and windows in order for them to stay safe. Ah, goody, you may get back to your blooper business for the time being. is brought to you in living color on NBC. Well, at least we did it. Yippee! Yeah. Anna, Chloe, Al, Evan, and Norman stand there looking quite concerned. Is she gonna pull through? Man, I really hope she does survive. I will speak to you later. Tyler? Yes? I've overheard the conversation that you were having with you on the phone. Speaking of what happened yesterday, Abby is doing well in hospital and has recently gotten stitches. There's no need to worry about her dying, as I know that Abby is your girlfriend. Ah, that's a relief. Is there a chance I can visit her later on? To look on the bright side of things, yes. Feel free to visit her at any time of the day before evening hours. Ah, yes. Once something crazy happens yesterday, it's worth watching TV to take your mind off of things. Or pulling a granddad in Alex's case. Jesus, what the hell just happened? Just four words. You pulled a granddad. Oh, jeez. God knows what time you went to bed, Mr. Sleepers. Ah, don't worry. I only went to bed around one-ish. Cheeky. Meanwhile, at New Ruffle City Hospital, Hello, Abby. Wake up. Huh. Where am I? You're in the hospital, Miss Jenkins. You got shot in the hand, but you'll be just fine. Damn. Also, what's this on my hand? Don't worry. You had to get stitches, as Mr. I AM A SURGEON! informed me that the operation went well. Well, that's good news. I will let you chill for now. Hope you get well soon. Any news on Abby? Is she going to be okay? By our standards, her surgery went great, as well as her response. As of right now, she is making progress on her recovery. Ah, that's a relief. This afternoon on the Fujitsu Olympics. Blah 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 ya baba 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 baba. What the? What in bloody hell's name are you watching? Apparently we're watching the Fujitsu Olympics, El Mal. P.S. You line flopped once again. I'd love to go to a house someday. I've never even been there before. Me neither, but I'll be honest. I'd love to go there. Be right back. Just visit Abby in the hospital. Hmm. I wonder how Abby's doing after what happened last night. Or dunno. I'm pretty sure she'll be back later. I heard she's recovering well according to doctor's standards. Alrighty. One hour later. 
Abby is currently reading a magazine with a cup of tea beside her. Hey Abby, how's the recovery? The doctors said that I'm doing very well, and I might be released from here later on today. That's good. Alright, I don't need the O guys in a situation like this. Alright. Abby could have died. Well, at least I survived. He only shot my head. Oh yeah, but still. In the meantime, there is some get well soon related stuff for you when you get home from the hospital. Oh, that's nice. I'll see you all later tonight. Huh, what's this newsletter doing on the wall? I dunno, mind if you take a read? I wouldn't mind. I'm him. <laughs> the Lowe's, who are residents of New Ruffle City. Be having a lookout for Tim Coombs. He has hospitalized a resident in New Ruffle City last night during an invasion. What the actual heck? Wait, what? Didn't he shoot Crystal not long ago? Yes, but who did he shoot in order to get them hospitalized this time? God knows, we'll just have to find out sooner or later. Alrighty then. Welcome back, Abby. How are you feeling? I'm doing fine now, although my hand feels weird with stitches. Thank fucking God they'll be taken out by next Thursday. That's good to hear. We are here to ask you a quick question. Alright, go ahead. When was the last time you all have seen Timothy Coombs? And where is he now? The last time we saw him was yesterday, attempting to invade the studio. Who did he shoot? He shot my hand. It explains why there's a bandage on it. So now we know who he managed to shoot this whole time? I guess so. We literally tried to fight him yesterday. But let's be honest, he ran off right after shooting Abby. I will never forget how much pain my hand was in. I thought I was going to die. I feel sorry for you, Abby. Just make sure to call the cops immediately if you see Tim again, even from a distance. All right, Cindy. Thanks for the heads up, by the way. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Best Besties. Today's episode is called A Glitchy World. And I know someone came up with the idea, that being Alex Purine. Who's that? One of my good writers and friends at my animation studio. Oh, I get it now. It's kind of like Alex Chapman. Kind of a coincidence that they're both named Alex. Who the f*** playing the NBC chimes? I did. Wow. Now that is something new. I know. Ditto. It's possible. That's why I developed plans for containing any of all members of the CTC squad should the need ever arise. And what if we ever used it for some other purpose? Anyone thinks that the NBC Peacock unexpectedly shows up on Best Besties? Now that's some NBC business. Ha 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 ha. Captain Syrup, Mona, Princess Shokora, and Queen Merelda, welcome to this Best Besties episode. Thank you, Nico. Wow, never heard of those characters before until I saw them moments ago. Cool. Wait, what are you doing? I'm not gonna strand back into the glitchy world. Oh. Oh no, it's on. The glitchy world portal turned on. Patra! Look out! No. Help me. Please. What? Hello? How did I get sent here? We sent you here. We will keep you here, and no one's gonna stop us. Help! Oh crap! Something happened to Petra? Oh no! Lolita and Suicide sent Petra to the glitchy world! What a sneaky way to interact with Petra! I know. The same thing happened one time. The same individual who was creating the clones of Stella on Jan Justine's video last year. How can we save Petra? The portal has disappeared. But how did Petra get sent into a world full of glitches? Don't worry, everyone. I've got something that will teleport you. Where did you get that remote? I got it from our local dollar store for $4. We'll use the teleport remote to see if it works perfectly. Great idea, Nico. But how are you operate the remote to make it work? I'll push the button and hopefully it works perfectly. I'm coming. Wait for me. Okay. 
Let's go, folks, to the glitchy world. Hold on tight. Well, folks, here we are. Wow, look at this place. This is some sort of a video game type glitch. Bloody hell. This looks like someone is fooling around with a motherboard or something. I know, but I have a bad feeling about this. Just look. Help, help, I have been taken hostage by those <laughs> evil monsters. <laughs> we got to stop them before it's too late. Yes, my precious tootie. Those two need to be dismantled immediately. We have to get the bottom line beforehand. Come on, everyone. Let's go stop them. Well, we found Petra. Now let's save her. Phew. Thank you, folks. You saved me. You saved me. Glad you're okay now, Petra. Now. Let's stop those kidnappers! I think I see the kidnappers with my very own eyes. Me too, cousin. Wait, what? How could those heroes save Petra from us? Uh-oh. Methinks that those heroes will target us. We're so busted. You're damn right, you piece of <laughs> I'm going to be face to face with you two morons with a little company. Let's face it. No wonder you two would have been in a different position to sacrifice Petra. Now, time for me to punch you so you guys will be knocked out cold. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. In your face, losers. In your face, suckers. Curses. Foiled again. And our faces hurt because of Tootie punched us. Ouch. Our evil individuals will be so furious when they find out we failed once again. Oh, our aching sphincters. Phew. We did it, folks. Glad to use her punch. Thank God you guys found me. No problem, Pedro. Now, we're taking you back to the studio safely. Phew. You guys are safe and sound. Glad to be back, Diana. Oh, and by the way, nice new look you got here. Just like in the Flowsop video. Thank you, Nico. Sorry I missed the first half of the battle, but great job for using the punch abilities, Tootie. Thank you, Mr. Sif. Now let's have some dinner. Man, all that time of fighting crime is making thirsty. <sighs> is that Prime? Yep. What should we do now? We got a new fully in stock Prime on sale. KSI? Holy Is it really him? Yes, it's him. He appeared at last year's WrestleMania with Seth Rollins and Logan Paul. Wow, that's cool. Come on, cousin. It's time to go back home to our universe. Bye, everybody. See you in the next episode. Since Captain Syrup, Mona... Princess Shokora and Queen Merelda are new here, I'll let Captain Syrup and Mona do the honor of ending the episode. Sure thing. Anywho, that'll do for this episode of Best Besties. We will see you next time for the next one. Goodbye.